Good morning. I'm going to take advantage of being in a house. I'm gonna wash my hair because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do that next. Look at me, I'm alive. I look awake. So my uncle and my grandma aren't coffee drinkers. My grandpa is, he drinks instant coffee, which I won't touch. So let me show you a cool way to make coffee. Let me see here. What are you doing? I wanna show them how to use the coffee filter. This is a Vietnamese fin filter, okay? They come in lots of different sizes. This one's really small. I figured a small is good because it fits right on top of my tumbler. This little guy goes on the bottom right here. And then this little mug thing goes on top. I brought Gustello from home. Oopsies. You're supposed to do a little water and then give it a minute and then do the rest. And then I think I put too much water. Yup, nope, that's fine. And then you wait for that to go down. And then, yeah, you can kind of hear it. Coffee's coming down the bottom. And I like coffee a lot, so I'm gonna do two of these and then I'll get back to you. Okay, it's ready. Um, you can't see, but I have I think I accidentally just made myself like four espresso shots or something instead of an actual coffee. I put like milk in here and it, I don't even see it. How strong did I accidentally make this coffee? Okay, that looks more normal. This actually turned out pretty good. I mean, it's not my first time using it. I used to use it quite a bit a few months ago. I think you might have seen it in like a What I Eat in a Week or something. But cheers, I put that like Trader Joe's almond beverage in it. Almond beverage. And a little bit of sugar. And I got a my caffeine fix for free. Not really free, because like I bought that Bustolo a few weeks ago. But you know what I mean, no extra money spent. We're editing. I'm gonna edit for like 30 minutes. Trying to get this what I eat in a week up on Vegan Bode Cat. So my uncle says he needs me to try this hummus inside. That's like the nastiest hummus he's ever had. I've had a different flavor from them and it wasn't so bad. It tastes like sauerkraut. <laughs> no. It is beautiful out here. Oh my God, there's cyclists. Uh, but yo, how pretty is this? How pretty is this, North Carolina? Oh, now we're in like Charlotte, Charlotte. Like, this is a city. I really hope there's a place to park my camper. Stay in the second lane. I'm in a library editing right now, but I just want to tell you that the next clip is at a restaurant called Oh My Soul. Okay, wait till you see this place. It's, oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. So apparently the owners are from South Africa. Look at this freaking place. Look at it, it's like entering a whole other world. All right, so the place has several sections. This is the restaurant portion. The back is a deli, and then the back back is the bar. Look at the friend I just made. Hello, Hobbs. Hello. Hi, hello. Sit. So I just shot at the coolest little South African place, and not little, big South African place. Um, really impressed, actually. If you want to see the full video that I shot there, it's gonna be on my you know food review channel, which is Vegan Bodega Cat. It's gonna be posted in January sometime, early January. Um, and I was going to find like a little cafe here to get some work done, but then I met that little dog that y'all saw earlier. His name was Hobbs. He was so sweet. Ended up talking to his owners for a little while, and now I kind of feel like I want to get started on my drive to Atlanta. Uh, so I'm gonna start going. It's about four and a half hours. So I'm thinking, let me get an hour and a half under my belt and then stop at a coffee shop, Starbucks, whatever. Uh, tonight, I'm a little nervous because tonight I'm going to be um, staying at a parking lot for the first time. I found a Walmart parking lot in Atlanta that I could stay in. And yeah, y'all y'all will be there with me. Uh, let's get going. Wait, at least let me cheers it with you. Cheers. Cheers. I found a Starbucks to work in and no joke, the address is 
420 Cox Road. I feel like a teenage boy made that up. I got a tall strawberry acai refresher with extra water in a grande cup. Here's the plan now. I have about three and a half hour drive to Atlanta. I'm gonna eat something. I don't know what yet, but I have stuff in the car. And then get going. So the plan for dinner right now is to get some fresh fruit and veg in me. I have this like cup from earlier, like yesterday. I'm gonna cut up a persimmon, an apple, some cucumber, carrots, and I'm gonna fill this little, little Starbucks thing up with some fresh goodness. Make sure I get my fruits and veggies in. Gotta peel this persimmon. This, I, my, 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 my uncle grew this persimmon at his house. I love persimmons. They're like one of the best fruits. So in college, I did not have a lot of friends uh, for a few reasons. The first one was I was weird. Uh, the second one was I was nerdy. And the third one was I was young. But I did have a few really good friends, and one of them was a girl named Alex, and she was great. And I kind of lost, lost touch with her after college, because you know, that's what happens usually. Um, and then I posted on Instagram about this road trip, and she's like, yo, let me know if you're gonna come to Atlanta. And I was like, wow, you're in Atlanta? I'm coming. So I might see her tomorrow, which is really exciting. I told her we should go out for like a drink or something. I have a cup of fruit and veg. On the bottom we got persimmons from my uncle's tree and then you have carrots, a cucumber, and an apple. And then at the end we have a split. This one is cashew butter sour cherry. Ooh, that one's new. Um, yeah, let's get on the road. I didn't update that much because I was just powering through. But I'm finally at the Walmart that I'm gonna stay at overnight and there's a few things I wanna do. The first thing, uh, to eat or to pee? Let's pee. I'm so glad I chose pee first because I literally got here at 10.57 p.m. and they closed at 11, so I was the last one in there. I peed and got out and now I'm gonna eat. The restaurant I went to earlier today had this like sausage sandwich. So I have leftover sausage, I covered it in salsa, and then I'm gonna eat it with these chips. I hope no one asks me to leave because I wouldn't know where else to go for the night. This isn't bad. The meat is kind of like kafta. There's literally a stray dog in the parking lot. I tried to catch him, but uh, he just was not like he seemed kind of friendly but scared and I feel bad but even if I caught him where would I take him right now I don't have a house to bring him to <gasps> I took a wipey to my face because I don't have the mm, I don't know I don't have it in me to like wash my face in a parking lot yet I will develop you know the balls later um, but I will be brushing my teeth because with a beyond meat taste in my mouth this is like a kid's gel toothpaste, but I got it for free, so whatever. Oh, it's not open. I feel like I'm doing something illegal. How dare I brush my teeth in a parking lot? <sighs> keep thinking about the dog. Also, I keep thinking, what if I have to pee again for morning time? That was very unsexy. Okay, I'm in the camper. Um, I know this footage hasn't been so great, but it's so dark. Um, I brought sweatpants. I don't know if I'm gonna change. I will let you know if I survive in the morning. Good night. I know you can't see me, but I'm pretty nervous, not gonna lie. I don't know what else to say though. I set my phone alarm for like 7 o'clock and hopefully I make it till then. Bye!